watching this video. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited that I'm making this video. This is something that I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, I finally got the round to redesigning my spool holder. Uh, my spool holder is a pretty popular uh, design uh, on Thingiverse. I did it about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. I was pretty new to CAD overall. I was pretty new to 3D printing overall. And uh, it was one of the first things I designed. Uh, so it, wa it wasn't perfect. Uh, there was a lot of issues with the threading, uh, with the screw sizes, uh, spinning. Uh, it wasn't very strong. A lot of extra structure that was unnecessary. And with this new revision, version 2, that I did, everything's fixed and it, it's a lot better overall. Uh, I added a whole new feature right here, which is pretty cool. Which is every bottom rod here has a hole which is about a little over two millimeters which is the 1.75 millimeter uh, spool end will fit right through and keep positive control of your, your spool so it doesn't wind up and get all caught up in the mechs uh, and then you get one caught up under the other and you, you, your prints lock out or you have a problem printing uh, it's really nice and takes up a lot less space for comparison here I'm going to use an old version of this which used to hold this spool uh, these two spools right here are identical. They're both Ninja Flex. Uh, this one's clear, this one's white, but overall they're, they're identical spool sizes. And from what you can see here, uh, it's very, I, t I took away a lot of unnecessary structure. These, these base arms right here uh, are two millimeters, two and a half millimeters smaller than, than these guys. Everything on this old design was right angled. Uh, so it was all it was all sharp and had had corners that, that sucked and on on the threading on the on the bolt pattern here uh, that was that was rough it was it was all sharp edges I what I did was I made it a little bit bigger easier on your fingers now um, everything's filleted uh, so it's it's nice round uh, pretty elegant pretty pretty sweet design looks much better uh, I'm not gonna use the white here because blue is gonna be a lot better to show you, or actually I'll show you in the red here. The only thing that you should keep in mind is that this is going to be a universal spool holder. This fits almost every spool, uh, every brand of spool that I, I've come across except for two, which is Talman Nylon Products, which I made a spool holder for, which is on Thingiverse, which is pretty cool. If you want to check that out, you can check that out. Uh, and then MakerBot's Newer, long or wider, longer here and skinnier here. Stupid spools. Uh, they're they they don't fit. And if I ever get one of those spools, I'll make one of those spool holders. But they had to be different from everyone else, and uh, that's not cool. But so they don't fit. But the only difference that you need to realize uh, between two spools, like Hatchbox in particular. Hatchbox has a small hole diameter here. Uh, the core of the spool, this is small. Uh, a couple other brands have it. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but mainly Hatchbox has this. I have a solution for that. And this is the only difference between my spools is that most spools have this larger one which is usually over 50 millimeters or 50 millimeters uh, in diameter uh, almost every one that you see has that uh, so that that will be a much bigger rod which is my 48 millimeter I call it big rod or large rod uh, this is what you do for if you have a hole that is bigger than 48 millimeters in diameter and if you have a small that's hole that's smaller than 48 uh, or bigger than 24, you print three of these, which is the same as this. These guys are the same exact size. You just print three of them instead of one big and two small. You print three small. Uh, to go with that, here are what I call the base arms. You need to decide which base arm you have based off the rod size that you need. If you have a hatchbox, you'll use small. But you're either going to have a base arm with a big top, 
or base arm with a little top. Let's see. Uh, same thing with the spinner arms. It's going to be spinner arm, little top, spinner arm, big top. And as for the structure of the design, I'll show you. Uh, it's pretty cool because on the old, I'll do it with this. On my old uh, spools, it didn't really go very deep or add any extra structure to it, as you can see. Uh, these screws were so small on the old one. Uh, they were this big, as you can see, I made them much larger now. Uh, they, they tended to break, uh, which wasn't good. And then other people had problems because my threading was so uh, fine uh, on this. It, 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 people had problems printing it if the temperature was too high or, or whatever. Now you'll, you won't have that problem. My threading is absolutely perfect. It's, it's out. Two millimeters comes up. It's, it's not too much to spin, but not too little. Very strong. Holds it in there. Uh, but to show you, for comparison's sake, on the spinner arm, as opposed to the base arm, this is the old design. Uh, I tried to have it go a little deep, but I barely got it a millimeter on that one. And it wasn't very strong. On the new one, the spinner goes in five millimeters on each one. So from what you can see here, when you spin this up, he goes in there uh, around five millimeters. So not, not alone just the screw, but the overall circular uh, structure of the rod and this going in, everything filling up, uh, it's very, very strong. And then this is all around uh, on the bottoms too everywhere it goes in five you can probably see it better here it goes in uh, five millimeters so and then on the bottom here this one goes in seven millimeters deep so fills it right up and it's very 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 strong uh, not unbreakable but strong <clears throat> What else? What else? Oh, uh, these will screw on. No matter the resolution, uh, it'll all work. Anything else to think of? Uh, when you when you want to figure out the size of the rod that you need for your spool or the holder because these do vary uh, depending on the brands the size uh, you measure your spool from here to here on end uh, whatever that is I think this one was 65 millimeters and you add 10 millimeters to that and that's the rods you should download so if it's 65 millimeters from here to here add 10 which would be 75 millimeters and then go find my 75 millimeter rods and then decide whether you need a big top or a small top or do all three or whatever uh, and then print those out so always add 10 to whatever it is due to the fact that this goes in seven millimeters uh, I could probably scale that up if that's a problem for people or, or, or just account for that in my measurement uh, but as of right now uh, that's how I'm gonna do it so whatever it is just add 10 uh, if you look around, this is what I use my spool holders for. Uh, they all rest up here in my print enclosure, which has a, an acrylic slider. Uh, these are all old uh, spool holders. These aren't the new ones uh, yet. I did the calculations and everything. The main reason why I did it is to save up the space. Uh, it takes 33% less time to print. They last a lot longer. They're a lot stronger now, uh, and I'll be able to fit four or five more spools up here than what I can with the, the old ones. Uh, and these just feed into my printers. Uh, this is a vacuum that I have in here with a fan back there. I have this whole enclosure uh, on Thingiverse also, if you wanna check it out. Uh, and I have an Instructables written on it to 
shows you how to build the whole entire thing, how everything works, and all the prints that went into it. And most of it's printed, uh, or not most of it, but a lot of it. There's about 20 different designs of prints that went into this guy. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you have fun uh, making this swivel holder and find it useful.